What's up guys? Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 35, and for this episode we have a 2-5 game at Mandalay Bay with Andrew Nimi. Andrew Nimi and I have been putting together these games. We're trying to do it as often as we can just to hang out and play with some of the people who watch the YouTube channel. It's been a ton of fun so far. And um, this one happened back in June. I just haven't had a chance to put the vlog together for it yet. So uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. I want to I give an update on a few things. The first thing is offthefelt.com. It's a poker site that my brother and I just started um, maybe two months ago. We've got over 600 members now. And I'm super impressed with the hand histories and the inside that people have been sharing on there. It's been a lot of fun. I've been learning a lot. And uh, the more people that join, I think the better the site will become. So if you haven't joined yet, please do so. It's absolutely free. And I'll put a link down below in the description box. Let's see, the, the other thing is I got two pieces of mail. So I'm gonna open these right now. Okay, so this one is just a postcard. It says, Brad, this is Rick. We met at the Upswing Poker Party. I bumped into you again at the Rio. The Eve, you got knocked out of the main event. Sorry, exclamation point. Keep up the great vlogs, Rick B. So uh, thanks, Rick, for sending this. This is always nice. Once you get knocked out of the main event, it helps to look at a hot chick that is giving you grapes or something. So <laughs> that's cool. Um, all right, now I'm going to open up this package. This is coming all the way from Canada. See what we got here. I just went through the packet. There was a ton of stuff, including a deck of cards. We got a keychain, some refrigerator magnets, um, a ton of pictures uh, of casinos in Canada, and a lot of information regarding that. Some special edition Canadian coins. So thanks a lot, man, for sending me all this stuff. This is really cool. I really appreciate the letter as well. I'm not going to read it. Um, in its entirety here, but there is one part of it that I wanted to share with uh, the viewers. And this gentleman wanted Andrew and I to possibly go out to Canada and play poker and make vlogs out there, do a Canadian poker tour. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I would love to do that. And Andrew and I, we've, we've been thinking about taking the meetup games that we do on the road. So um, we're happy to go all over the U.S. and to some other countries. Just uh, let us know in the comment section where you'd like us to go and if there's enough people that want us to go there, maybe we'll be able to make it happen. Uh, so one last time, thanks a lot to uh, the gentleman out in Canada and thanks a lot to Rick for sending me this postcard. I really appreciate it. It's awesome to get to know the viewers a little bit. Uh, if you want to send me or Cosmo anything, I have the uh, address below in the description box. and. I think that's it for this intro. It's gotten a little bit too long, but um, thanks a lot, and let's go ahead and get into the episode. At 6 p.m. we get the first game started, Andrew's over here on my right, and I get immediately into the action with ace jack of spades under the gun, and we open to 15. He folds to the big blind who calls for 10 more, the flop comes jack seven deuce rainbow, the big blind checks, we've got top top, and we're going for value. I bet 15 and the big blind makes the call. The turn is a 10, the big blind checks, I bet 35. Now the big blind raises it up to 80. I'm getting four to one on a call, so I can't fold. The river is an ace, giving us top two pair. The opponent bets 100. I contemplate raising, but it could be up against a set or a straight, so a call seems a little bit more reasonable. I toss in the chips. The opponent turns over 10-7 offsuit. He flopped middle pair, then drilled the turn, and I re-sucked out on the river and take down a decent pot early on. Here, our buddy Andrew gets dealt jack-10 of clubs in the cutoff. The player under the gun opens to 15. Andrew calls and the button calls as well. They go three ways to the flop 
and it comes ace jack nine with two spades and one club. The player under the gun bets 30. Andrew makes a call with a pair and some backdoor draws. The button folds, so they go heads up to the turn, and it's the queen of clubs giving our boy an open-ended straight flush draw to go along with his pair. The opponent bets 80. Andrew obviously isn't gonna be going anywhere. He calls, and the river is the old king of clubs giving Andrew the straight flush. So I'd say that river card is fa... Nope. Not gonna say it. I am not going to say it. The player under the gun checks. Andrew bets 125. The opponent calls. Andrew takes it down. We both got off to decent starts, played some fun hands, and we ended up getting three different tables of 2-5 going. So after a short time, I hop over to the second table. I'm card dead for quite a while before looking down at pocket jacks under the gun plus one. I open to 15. The player to my left calls, as does the big blind. The big blind plays a little unorthodox. We go three ways to the flop and it comes queen six three rainbow. It's checked to me, I bet 20. The player on my left folds, the big blind calls, we're heads up and the turn is the four diamond so now there's a possible flush draw out there and seven five has made the straight. The big blind bets 50 against the tight player. I can safely let this go against this player who does some bizarre things. I have a hard time folding, I make the call. The river is an ace, the opponent checks, no need for me to bet, I check back, and he turns over queen three of clubs, he flopped top and bottom pair, I lose 50 extra that I didn't necessarily have to. Shortly after, I get pocket jacks again, this time I'm in the small blind, the player who beat us with queen three limps in from the cutoff, I raise to 30, the big blind folds, and the cutoff calls. We go heads up to the flop, and it's queen, jack, five, two clubs, we've got Middle set, hoping somehow the opponent has a queen again. We bet 30. Unfortunately, the cutoff folds, so we only win a small pot there. But a few hands later, we straddle on the button. We've got nine eight of hearts. Mr. Dorson, fellow poker vlogger, raised it up to 30 from under the gun. A player in middle position calls. We call as well. The flop comes ace nine three with two clubs and one heart. We've got middle pair and backdoor flush draw. Mr. Dorson bets 45, the player in middle position folds. I call, hoping for a nine, eight, or a heart that would improve our hand. The turn is the deuce of spades though. Mr. Dorson fires again for 65. This is about the worst hand I'll ever have in this situation. I fold and the opponent shows king queen offsuit as a bluff. He had king high. We're gonna need some cocktails immediately. I get the table around to Washington Apples, which has become a signature drink for these meetup games, and we get some run good. Miraculously, we pick up pocket kings in the small blind in a straddle pot. Mr. Dorson opens from under the gun for 35. I misclick and make it 85, which is way too small. Normally, I'd raise to around 120. My brain just wasn't working quite right, and I was somewhat distracted by filming. Anyway, the straddler calls with the short stack and perhaps he wouldn't have called a bigger three bet, so that sort of worked out there. The initial preflop raiser also calls. We go three ways to the flop and it comes king, queen, eight, all clubs. We've got top set and we fire 120. Both players fold and we win it. The very next hand, we get ace, queen offsuit on the button. Two players limp in, I make it 25. The first limper folds, the second limper in the hijack calls, we're heads up, and the flop is king 10 4 rainbow. The hijack checks, this is a decent flop for us, it's not going to connect with the limper's range very often, we've got an overcard and a gut shot straight draw, we bet 30, we could have the best hand, but there's a decent chance our opponent has a small to medium pocket pair and will fold. If we do get called, our hand will still have a lot of equity, the opponent ends up laying it down. And that pretty much wraps up the session. It's time to rack up and cash out.
We're just ending the session now. I ended up winning $24. Won a decent pot at the end there with the set of kings in the straddle pot. So that was nice. And we're about to head up to Skyfall. You can see our whole crew. We got three games going, which was awesome. I came here yesterday and they had two games total. Now they have seven or eight games here. And um, you can see the line of people cashing out going to Skyfall with us. We get a group of about 20 people to come over to the Skyfall Lounge with us. We take one of the coolest elevator rides in all of Vegas. Once we get out there, we have a great time hanging out, drinking, talking about poker, and getting some poorly lit footage of us taking shots. That's it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. I want to give a big thanks to Mandalay Bay for allowing Andrew and I to host the game there. We had a great time. Thanks to everybody who came out. Uh, it's been the most fun thing about doing the vlog so far is hanging out with the viewers, getting to know them, having some drinks, and playing poker. Um, if you happen to be in Vegas, uh, follow Andrew and I on Twitter. That's the best way to find out when and where we're having the next meetup game. And as I mentioned earlier, we're thinking about taking the game on the road. So let us know in the comment section where you'd like to see us go. And maybe we'll be in a casino near you pretty soon. Um, yeah, join offthefelt.com. That's the uh, poker forum site my brother and I started recently. I mentioned it in the beginning of this. It's been awesome so far, and the, the bigger it gets, I think the better the site will become. So I, I really appreciate it if you guys join. It's absolutely free. Uh, check it out. I'll have a link down below in the description box. And the last thing is, uh, thanks to my buddy in Canada for sending me this letter and uh, the packet of everything Canadian related. And thanks to my buddy um, Rick for sending me this postcard. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Good luck at the tables. This guy is talking to the camera, like, what's the deal? Is that your best friend? <laughs> you make YouTube videos or something? These guys have jokes. <laughs>